at least your word comes because somebody needs to be set free into it. Lord, I just want to pray for somebody just before we close here tonight. If you feel that you need to be set free of something that has enslaved you for a long time and you're finding it very difficult to come out of it tonight, um, you can rise up and come to the front here and just, you know, say, the pastor, I will be praying for them. Um, Bible says the anointing breaks the yoke. The burdens of the people are lifted up because of the anointing. And um, if, um, if you feel that you want to pray tonight, or you want to feel that you feel that you need to come to the front for prayer, you can. Otherwise, if you feel that you 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 know uh, feel that you need to touch the Lord from the university, do so. I can just pray the prayer for you tonight. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And I pray for your power. You are the supreme ruler of the universe. You have the ultimate authority. You will not work until men advise you to work through prayer. You will not work until men invite you to work. You are a righteous God, and you know that yourself. You have made men become a ruler. And when the ruler of the earth authorizes you and invites you to work with him, he will come down with all your power to rescue men and save men. And set men free. Tonight, as many as said this word tonight, if any of them needs liberation in their heart, in their mind, and they're requesting, they're wanting you to set them free. Father, I pray that you release your hands from heaven to come and set them free again. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that you break any bondage and every bondage that has put them into captivity and give it to the hands of the devil to use the tongue, the mouth, the eyes, and every part of the body. I pray, Father, tonight you will set them free. You will liberate them and let them go free to them. Any part of their lives where the devil has legally taken a hold of their lives and claimed their body to be used for unrighteous purpose. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, through your word tonight, and through your spirit tonight, through your money tonight, Lord, I pray that you reach out to everyone here tonight and set them free from any form of bondage. You spoke them into righteousness, you spoke them into existing righteousness and purity. Holiness was their nature when you made them. Righteousness was their nature when you made them. They were born into righteousness. Somehow the devil came into lives and put them under captivity. Lord, I pray you be tonight and bring them to what is right, supposed to be in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I hope you can do this. Give them a new beginning tonight. Give them a new start tonight. And help them to overcome the devil in every way and every form. Thank you. Thank you, Father. And thank you. And Father, I commit the Wednesday night this year into hands. Lord, come down good and minister to your people. Here yeah, in New York and others that will join us this year. I dedicate the Wednesday night into hands. We will look forward for Wednesday night for deliverance, Father, for encouragement, Father, for enriching, for building our lives up so we can come against the power of darkness and live, live a life that is victorious before the devil. How we can position ourselves to be used by you mightily for the face of the end. How we can partner with you, Lord. And how we can be one with you so that the great God can be now seen through your people and through your servants and through your um, body. In Jesus' name, my friend, everyone say, Amen. 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 Be liberated and go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.